Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. In this video, I'm going to be answering Soundhouse 7 Tun Studios uh, question. He asks, I've seen something and would like to know if it can be done with Webflow. I would like to arrange pictures of team members as normal as pictures in columns. But when you move the mouse over a picture, a video starts. Video start at mouse hover, mouse out, still image. Is this possible? Maybe you can do a tutorial. Well. Yes, easily done in Webflow, but I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to show you how to not only play a background video on hover, but also show you how to put those videos in a Webflow collection or CMS. So that way you can upload videos and it can be put into the Webflow CMS and you can design it dynamically. All right. So here we go. All right, so first thing I want to do is create my team collection. I'm going to create a new collection. I'm going to call it team and we'll add a field. So the first field, let's call it video, um, video ID, save field, leave it as plain text, add another field, and this will be the image. We'll just call this photo save fields and um yeah we'll we'll add one more like a job title and we'll make sure that the maximum character count of that is like 50. all right save field and create collection okay i'm going to add five of them add five dummy ones for now wait for that to happen and i'm going to delete two of them because i I'm only going to do this demo with three. So select, going to take the first two, delete, and there we go. Now on all three of these, I'm going to delete the video ID and save. Take that and save. Take that and save. All right, cool. We're done. Now we're going to start uh, uploading videos. All right, so each team member should have a video and these are just going to be background videos. And what I do is I create a new static page and I upload the background videos to this page. Okay, so all I did for this is I dragged in a background video element and then I uploaded the, the video. Okay, after that, you would need to publish the page or publish the whole site. And then you would have to get the video ID. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to open that. And we're here. We have all three videos playing. And I'm going to right click and let's go inspect. Okay. Now, when Webflow puts a background video, it adds all of this code for you. Okay. And so what we want to get for the video ID is right here i'm going to double click and i'm going to copy this url okay so i'm going to copy that url i'm going to paste it and this is what we want we just need this all the way to this now let me explain uh what webflow actually does with this url okay so what it is is right here this is the this is the webflow asset server okay after that, this is your actual Webflow website ID. And then after that, this is the file ID. And then we put an underscore. And then the file name of your video is after that underscore. And then we add dash poster and all these numbers dot JPEG. Okay, so that's for the poster. For the MP uh, for the MP4 or whatever, it would be poster. Or sorry, it would be vid, uh, I think, let me go double check, uh, inspect. Oh, uh, yeah, so vid-encode.mp4, and then this one is vid-transcode, did I say encode? Oh, transcode.webm, uh, all right? So all you have to get is just the ID, underscore, and the file name, okay? So let's go ahead and get that. I'm going to take this, copy it, 
and go back to my collection, blog posts. Oh, no, sorry, team, and just pick any of them, and that's your video ID. All right, now click save. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two, so let me get that real quick. Right click, inspect, double click the first poster URL, paste it here, get the file ID and the file name, paste it into the collection, and do the same thing for the last one. There we go. Right click, inspect, double clicks, copy, paste, file ID, file name, and paste it into video ID. Okay, cool. That's done. Now let's uh, design the page. I'm gonna go back to my team page, and I'm just going to put a container, push it away from the top, and now I'm going to drag in my collection list and start designing it. All right, so I'm going to pull data from teams. Okay, and to make sure this is three columns, I'm going to open this up, open the collection list wrapper, click on the collection list, and set this to grid. And I want three columns, so I'm going to press plus, and now we're in three columns. Done and done. All right, now let's go ahead and drag in a link block. And this link block, we're going to set that to block so it takes up the whole width and let's give this a height of say 250 yeah 250 is good all right now inside of there let's go ahead and uh put the background image from teams so i went to element settings background image and teams and then photo all right and there we go Going to go back to the styles panel so we can make sure that I set this background to be cover, center, no repeat. Cool. So that's how to put the thumbnail. Now the question was, how do you make a video play? Like, for example, like say this is the headshot of the employee and then when you hover, it fades into a, a video that loops. And that's what we're gonna do. So next, I'm going to drag in an embed. Okay, and this embed, we're gonna put some code in it. And I'll supply the code. Well, I can't really supply the code because it's based on your site ID. Well, oh yeah, I'll supply the code in the description. But here's how we get the code. We're gonna right click any of our videos, press inspect, and we wanna copy this whole thing. So right click on the data, or sorry, on the div, and then copy element, go back to Webflow, and paste it. All right, so there's a lot happening here. And again, I'm going to provide all this for you. But again, this is the Webflow Assets server. This is the site ID of your site, and this is the file name. And so all of the um, all of the background videos have this same pattern, have this same HTML. The only thing that's different is the site ID and the file ID. So what I can do is just take that file ID, delete it, and then replace it with video ID. I can even highlight by holding shift and pressing left on my keyboard, I can highlight that and press command C for copy. And I can do that for the rest. So we have the server, site ID, file ID. Take this and paste it. Find it, take this. Oh no, Ugh. oh no, where did I go? There we go. I'm gonna use my keyboard. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold shift and press left on my keyboard, delete and paste, all right? And so what it's, uh, Webflow is gonna do is, is a, it's going to include, it, it's going to dynamically put the video ID in place of that code. 
All right. So I'm going to find it. Found it again. Hold shift and press left on my keyboard. Paste. And so wherever you find it, you remove it and paste. Almost done. There's like, there's a couple of them. And so what it is, is there is one for the data poster, which is like the thumbnail. If um, the video doesn't play, like on sometimes on mobile, the video is not playing automatically and you have that play button overlaying on top of it. What's going to show under the play button? It's that data poster. And then some video, uh, some browsers uh, can only play WebM and some browsers can only play MP4. So Webflow's code is making sure that it works on all browsers. All right, so that's it, save and close. Oh look, there's our videos, they're already playing. But I wanna put them overlaying on top of that. So what I need to do is take this link block and set this to position relative. And then from this HTML embed, I can set this to position absolute, full, and why isn't it there? Hold on. Why aren't you there? What happened? Let's see here. Let's see here. Come on. I want you at the top. Pausing. Okay, I'm back. So uh, what I had it as before is, I think I had it as absolute and this one relative. And okay, so I figured it out. Um, here's what I had to do. So for the link block, set that to position relative and set the height to 250. And the HTML embed, you can go ahead and set that to width 100% and height 100% of its parent, which is this guy right here. Okay. And then you would have to go to the code and add some more code. And again, I'll put this in the description, but this is the extra CSS I had to add directly into this div, which is setting it to position absolute, top zero, left zero, uh, width 100%, height 100%. Basically, it's doing the same thing as I do here. All right, save and close. And lastly, I want to make sure that this is on top of the background image. So I have to do uh, position relative on the HTML embed and set the Z index to one. I know, confusing, but I'll recap, okay? So let me go all the way back here. Let me delete this, save and close. And again, what I did was I dragged in an HTML embed let me delete this one. I dragged in an HTML embed into the link block and I pasted in the code and then I replaced all the video IDs. But this time I added more uh, inline CSS code to this. All right, save and close. And with this HTML embed, I'm going to set the width and height to 100% set the position to relative and set the Z index to one. All right. Now next, I'm also going to set the opacity to zero. Now I'm going to go to my hover, my uh, hover state and set the opacity to a hundred. All right. And so now there you go. Wait, there it goes. I have to click out of it. All right. Now, lastly, if you don't like it to just turn on and off like this, what you can do is on the none state of your HTML embed, you can go to transitions and set the opacity to 200 uh, milliseconds for duration. And then you get this, a more fade effect. All right, and there you go. Hope this helps. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, uh, let me know if you're confused at all with what I've done in this video. 
um yeah it's a cool way to put dynamic background videos to your collections use this trick wherever you want uh and if you do use this trick put please put that uh, url in the comments i want to see what you do with this uh either than that thank you all so much for watching i thank you thank you so much for your support and i'll see you in the next one and as always make the web beautiful together see ya